Okay, here we are, back to our herringbone box. I have my uh, carcass stock all assembled. What we need to do today now is we need to take this large board, and we're gonna treat it as if we had just taken it out of the wood room, as if it were a solid piece of cherry, and we need to machine it down to the size of our actual carcass, uh, our actual carcass. So we made this one earlier. That's three and three eighths by three quarters, and we can find that on the plan. It's listed in a number of pages, but I know right here, uh, this is the simplest one yet. Um, it's showing me three and three eighths for this dimension, top to bottom. And right here, it's showing me three quarters of an inch thick right here. So we're gonna start with this on the planer. We're going to plane both sides of this down to three quarters of an inch. Uh, we'll stop just short of three quarters. We'll use the dual drum sander to finish that to take care of any snipe at either end of this. Um, and you can see on this, I do have that continuous grain pattern. See how this goes through and loops around. Um, we do want to make sure when we put these together that it is put together in that order so that we keep that continuous grain pattern. Okay, when I go to the planer, I am going to need my uh, combination square works the best. And every time that goes to the planer, we're just going to check the thickness so that we end right at three quarters of an inch. Um, right now we're starting with this one. Uh, that looks like it's about 15 sixteenths of an inch. And we look in here, I can see these got, uh, the, that maple that I use is a little bit short. So that's sitting down about a sixteenth there and it's sitting in a little more than a sixteenth there. So it's gonna be really close to three quarters of an inch when we're done. Okay, let's go over to the planer, get this thing started, and then we'll do the jointer and the table saw to finish. All right, I'll have to yell a little bit over this. All right, on the planer, in case you've forgotten, the setup on this is to set this just inside the bar here, raise the table until it's just snug right there. So that's snug. We're gonna go down eight turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turns down. Turn on the planer by twisting that knob. Turn on the blades. Turn on the feed. And away she goes. All right, it made it through the first pass, that's good. All right, a half a turn. And if that starts to wiggle, I can, I can adjust this right here, tighten that a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. All right, that's almost flat right there. I'm gonna do the back side now. Let's check and see where we are. Oh, I've got a 16th to go. That's gonna be really close. Now I'm at three quarters. I've got to make a choice here. Right there, it's actually too far indented. I didn't use a thick enough piece of maple. So what I'm gonna do, I know I can fill in this backside. We're gonna cover that up anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one more pass to make it a little bit less than three quarters. We'll have to make an adjustment later. All right, 
I've got a lot of snipe right here, so I'm gonna stop on this tool because it's actually going considerably thinner right there. We're gonna go dual drum sander to finish that out. And these little pieces on the inside, we're gonna fill that. That won't be visible when we're done. Okay, on the dual drum sander. There's the handle. All right, to set this up, we're gonna look inside here and there's this roller right here. I'm gonna raise this handle until that starts to roll right there. Okay, it's making this roller roll. And we're gonna go one turn up from here. And I'm using my ears to hear how much sanding is happening, just a little bit there. Quarter turn up and feed it again. Okay, now the snipe is gone, and I'm looking for any low spots in my herringbone, which there are none. We're gonna do one more pass on the backside to get rid of some of this planer snipe. Quarter turn. little bit right here I'm a 16th under I don't want to go any more than that so I'm gonna repair this part on the inside of the box and this will be the front of my box okay the next step is to joint this edge right down until these little triangle pieces are gone this will take several passes on the jointer I also probably want to make it so that it stops at a place that's visually appealing. I don't want to be like having just a sliver of that dark showing. Okay, that's below the fence, so I'm going to use a push stick and a push block. Okay, my ears are going to tell me when I'm done. Keep going until that triangle's gone.
Our next step is at the table saw. Before I go there, I do want to verify one more time my measurement, and that is three and three eighths of an inch. So we'll set that to the fence. We'll cut that at three and three eighths, and then we'll proceed to the step after that. At the table saw, set the height of the blade so it's just about a quarter of an inch above the workpiece. We'll set our fence to three and three eighths. There's a quarter. Three and three eighths is right there. Have my push stick and away we go. Okay, there's our stock piece now. This will be the front. This will be the back, because I've got those little divots right there. And now we need to look at our drawing for our next step. 